Hello, Harvard families. I'm Corey Tafoya, District 50 Superintendent. And now that it's August, we can only be thinking one thing here in our schools is the return of our students on August 17th. It's hard to believe it's already here, but it is. And as a parent, like you, I've been spending a lot of time thinking about schools and the safety. Uh, with the tragedies in Texas and in Highland Park, there's been a lot for us to process as leaders and especially as parents to think about all the things going on regarding school safety. So I wanted to share a message with you and just really talk about three main things. All of the safety things that we have in place in our schools, because we do have a lot as I thought about the list of all things, but also what do we have planned? We're augmenting our our uh, safety procedures. We're doing some things to make it even safer. And then we have some plans for things in the future that are down the road a little further. But we want to help everyone understand why come August 17th, it's very safe for you to send your child back to school. That really matters. We take that job really seriously. Our safety of all of our staff and all of our students is something we think about every day. And we want to make sure we share that message with you because it's something on everyone's mind and we want to address it very openly. So let's talk about what we do have in place. One of the first things you should know about all of our schools is that we have very secure entrances. All of our exterior doors are locked during the school day, so there is nowhere you can go other than the main entrances. And at those main entrances, there's two doors that you have to go through to get in. First one is a buzz system where you buzz to uh, get permission to come in, and there's a video camera that shows who is there. And then a second door where you buzz in once more and you get in past that second door, only to be found uh, by one of our office staff who will give you a Raptor um, security brief. So you give your ID and we do a background check on anyone that comes in the building, whether they're working on the, uh, the milk machine or the pot machine or whatever, or a parent there to pick up their child. We always want to make sure we know who's in the building at all times. So that's a really important part. All of those exterior doors remaining locked is something that is really important at all times and that's something we take very ser seriously. So that one entrance, while very busy because we have a lot of people coming and going at times, is something that's part of our layered security. Another part of our security that we have in place is the presence of adults. In recent years, the district has done a great job of adding personnel, both security personnel and staff, designed to meet the needs of our students. Sometimes it's the present for supervision. We need to be present while we're watching them in the lunchroom, in the cafeteria, at entrances. But sometimes it's also social-emotional support. The board has done a great job of hiring additional supports, counselors, social workers, because the needs of our students are various and we need to be there for our students. So we have an adequate amount of staff to help in all situations like that. But that's all always the most important thing in situations like this is understanding where our students were at when they were there because sometimes they bring in things that are issues in their life that they want to talk about and we're always there to talk to them and help with that. So knowing that our students have been through a lot in the last few years with um, some of the things they've seen on TV with school violence and the pandemic, they have a lot on their mind. So we have a lot of mental health teams present our students. We do screenings in all of our buildings uh, to really understand how our students are doing. They do a simple screening that lets us know how they're doing. And that's an important check-in that we do weekly, understanding how students are doing. And we learn a lot about our students, whether they're having good weeks, bad weeks. Sometimes when students are indicating there's things going on in their life, that's when we can talk to them and know. So that idea that there are layers of also adult support in our building, just like our doors, there's levels of adult support from just a check-in to really intensive support that we can provide. So we have a lot of adult support for our students that come to us every day. You also might not know that we have a curriculum in place for our students to help them understand how to navigate the world we're in right now. Learning how to understand what to do when you're mad, when you're sad, and all the emotions that are natural for us is something that we actually teach. Helping them to understand how to deal with all those emotions that come apart with adolescence, being a kid, and all the things that they're subjected to with pandemic and the violent situation that occur in our neighborhood and around our country make it important that we talk honestly and openly with our students. So we do have a curriculum, second, second step, that we work with our students and that's in present in many of our schools. We also have updated camera systems and video surveillance systems that are constantly being updated and used to monitor our premises and on all of our campuses. Just this summer, we've added wiring and cameras and additional places where we can see what's going on in our buildings. That additional security and monitoring is an important surveillance element and helps us know what's going on in all those places that we can't necessarily see from the main office of the building. So we always have eyes on what's going on and that's a great support. Just this summer, uh, new cameras in our new uh, locker room facility have been installed and exterior cameras in many of our buildings have given us an additional level of support that help us see what's going on. 
And in the event something is a crisis, each building has their own crisis team. The crisis team is designed and trained to understand how to react to nearly every situation we might fa face. We have a long list of situations that could potentially occur, and the crisis teams are trained to understand what exactly would happen given that situation, whether it be a gas leak, whether it would be some type of violence, wh whatever the situation, we understand who is to act and in what situations. So now let's talk about what we did this summer. Obviously, with the things going on in our world, safety and security was a heightened uh, topic for all of us this summer. So we did the things that we always do. We review our security plans, but we did some things in addition. One of the things that we're looking forward to is we're actually having a security audit. We'd been in the process of working with a company to do a security audit of all of our buildings long before the tragedy in Texas happened or the Highland Park situation. So the company is going to come in and give us advice on things that we can strengthen and improve, not only in our facilities but our plans, and that's something that's really important. We've additionally had meetings with uh, county superintendents to talk about new technologies, new strategies, meeting with the sheriff department to understand all the things that are going on. And additionally, we're looking at our buildings very carefully. We're, every summer we want to figure out how we can make our buildings more safe. And this summer we found some ways to make them even safer. Those things are not those expensive, so it doesn't require massive construction or things like that, but there's little steps that we think we can do to make things even safer each and every summer. So the results of our audit, as well as an exercise we're having later this month to work with our local officials, we'll have a t what we call a tabletop exercise where our local police department, our sheriff, our fire department will all get together and what we'll do is discuss a situation. How would we handle that and really get everyone present so in the case we have to respond, we'll quickly understand whose responsibility belongs to who, how do we react, who does what in each situation because you really don't have time to think about it. Your materials need to be ready and quickly able to respond to whatever the crisis might be. So we're looking forward to that exercise, but it's another example how preparedness is the best prevention in all these situations. So what we have planned for throughout this school year is continuing to upgrade all of our systems of safety. Some of those things are in the classroom. Some of those things are exterior doors. We have a lot of things that we're planning on doing door lock systems, things that are uh, safety things within the classroom, at our doors. We'll probably learn a lot from the safety audit from this company that's coming in to help us give some external opinion on our preparedness. So we have a lot of things that we're continuing to do. This isn't something we're doing as a reaction just to a couple tragedies. This is something we do every year. But this year, being very unique, we thought we ought to share all the things that we have in place, those things that we've already done, those things we're doing this summer, and things we have planned in the future. So I realize that's a lot of information about those things that we already had in place, the things we're doing now, and the things we have planned in the future for all of our safety. My hope is this message is reassurance and gives you an idea that the schools really are caring about the safety of our kids. And I certainly hope as we get back to school that doesn't squash anyone's enthusiasm about coming back to school. Who's my teacher? Uh, how are my friends uh, after the summer? I may not have seen them. What's our team going to be like this year? There's so much excitement to coming back to school. So we don't want to dampen that, but we do want all of you parents, and me as a parent myself, I really want you to know that we're taking this very seriously. We have amazing kids in our district, and it's very easy for us to get excited about protecting them, helping them learn and grow, and making every dream possible that they want to have come true. Thanks for listening to this message. If you ever have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thank you very much.